everyone. Since I've been asked quite a bit, um, what do I do when I've made square cards? Um, like, do I make my own envelopes? Do I buy them? Usually what I do is I either give um, square cards in a gift and I don't bother making an envelope at all. Um, but if I've used 12 by 12 pattern paper, I have paper that's big enough. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys how I do it because it's super simple. Anyway, this is a card that I showed in one of my holiday videos. The link to that will be right there. And it's a five and a half inch um, square card. So to make the envelope for that, I'm using a uh, nine and a quarter square inch piece of pattern paper. You can do this also with just nine inches, but I added a little bit extra just for extra space because usually you know I've got embellishments and whatnot hanging over the edge. So I want the base of the envelope to be a little bit bigger. So by doing it as a nine and a quarter inch square, the envelope opening itself will be six inches. So I've got my pattern paper, and it's just double-sided paper from the Bella Boulevard collection, same as what I used on the card, so it's all matchy-matchy. And then all you have to do is the line the points on the six and a half inch groove line. So this is where it gets a little difficult because when it's a larger piece like this, when they're smaller, it fits right on the board, but it's hanging off. So you've got to make sure you've lined things up properly. And really what ha what works best is when you've got a grid mat underneath, take the line you want to line it up on, so it's this one right here, and line it up with your grid right here. So then I will know when I've got this here and the line here lined up that this paper is straight. And then score at three and a half inches and nine and a half inches. So as I'm making sure it's straight, there's nine and a half. Just like so. And then three and a half. I'm just holding the paper steady so that it doesn't shift while you're doing that. And then you just flip it and do the exact same thing. So making sure I've got it aligned at the center, just like so. Then we do the nine and a half again, and the three and a half. So we've got that. So then you want to take your scissors and cut out the small notches that were created by scoring the two lines. So you just do that, do that on all four sides. And then once those are cut out, you fold all the flaps in using your scored lines. So then all there is is a matter of adhering it all together. So for an envelope like this, I would just use my Tombow Mono Multi. So I would start with one flap and just add a thin line of glue. Making sure not to use too much because when you press this down, if there's too much glue, it's going to seep onto the inside and you're going to glue your envelope shut. So just like so. Then add another small line of glue for the second flap. And then obviously the final flap I will leave alone until it's time to actually give the card and then I'd probably only stick a teeny little dab of glue just in the middle just to hold it down. But there you go and now you have the perfect envelope for your square card. So that's all there was to it. So thanks you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Thanks.